All right, let's continue in this video. Uh, let's let's start finding what our two constants of integrations are, C1 and C2. Uh, we need some boundary conditions. So looking at our diagram, we can see that at x equals 0, the deflection, or y, is equal to 0. So we can use this uh, boundary condition in equation 2 uh, to figure out what C1 is, or I'm sorry, C2 is. So let's let's uh, look here at equation two. If I said x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero, right? At x or the distance is equal to zero, the deflection, the y is equal to zero, right? So if I plugged in these two conditions for equation 2, I get 0 is equal to um, m0 squared over 2 minus m0 cubed over 12L uh, plus c1 times 0 plus c2. Um, this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0, and this becomes 0, right? So therefore, c1 is, I'm sorry, c2 is equal to 0. Cool. Now, we need one more boundary condition to figure out what C1 is. C1, C1. If we looked at the a diagram here, we can see that at x is equal to L, y is equal to 0, right? So at point B, the deflection here is 0 because there's a support there. So if we plug that in for, let's say, we can use equation 2 again, we get x equals 0, y, I'm sorry, x, x is equal to L, y is equal to 0. So if I plug that in to the same equation, I can get EI times y, which is 0, um, is equal to m, x becomes L, so L squared over 2 minus m l cubed over 12 l uh, plus c1 times x which is l uh, and then plus c2 but up here we said c2 is equal to 0 so we can plug that in and on the left side we get 0 on this side we get m l squared over 2 minus m l squared over 12 because this L, and then I can cancel out one L there, uh, then you have plus C1 times L. Right, is equal, all of this is equal to zero. So if we solved for C1, um, let's actually factor out an L, right? Factor out an L there, uh, there, you get zero is equal to ML over two minus ML over 12, uh, plus C1, and that means C1 uh, is equal to ML over 12 minus ML over 2, uh, which is, if you solve that in, oops, if you solve that out, uh, you should get negative 5ML over 12. Right, so C1 is negative 5 ml over 12. So if we plugged in constants 1 and 2 um, into equations 1 and 2, our new equation 1 would be uh, theta is equal to dy dx, right? And that's equal to mx over ei. Right, so now I'm dividing by EI here, and all of the terms on the right side, MX over EI, minus MX squared over uh, 4L EI, uh, plus C1, and C1, remember, was negative uh, 5ML over 12, and that also has an EI. And then equation 2 becomes uh, the deflection, or y. So now we're looking at this equation right here. 
is equal to mx squared over 2. mx squared over 2, uh, 2 e i minus mx cubed over 12 l e i uh, minus our c1 x right 5 m l uh, divided by 12 e i remember this was c1 uh, times x right because you have a c1 times x here and then plus c2 but c2 was 0 so we can just it's plus 0 now our question in the beginning of the problem is what is delta max delta max is equal or delta max occurs where the slope is equal to 0 so we need to find we need to find an x value we need to find where along this beam or at what point x is the slope equal to zero? Is the slope equal to zero? And we can do that using um, our new equation one. Um, at theta is equal to zero, we'll have an x value, right? So if I did zero is equal to m x over e i uh, minus four. I'm sorry, minus m x squared over 4lei minus 5ml that's not milliliters uh, 2ei if you solve for x I'm not going to do the algebra but if you solve for x um, x you can use a graphing calculator should be about 0 0.4725l okay so at this point the slope is equal to zero at this point x that's where the maximum deflection is going to occur so if we take this x value oops and we plug this in to equation two the new equation two um, we get y is equal to m x squared 0.4725 l squared over 2ei um, minus m x cubed and x is 0.4725l cubed uh, over 12lei uh, minus actually let me use this eraser and erase some stuff here Okay, so uh, minus uh, 5ml times x, and x is again 0.4725L uh, divided by 12EI. And let me just make sure all that is right. So we have m. Uh, 0.4725L squared over 2EI minus M times X squared or X cubed over 12LEI minus 5ML times X uh, divided by 12EI. And an uh, easy way to do this would be uh, you can actually factor out an M over EI and you'd be left with 0 0.4725 uh, L squared over 2 minus 0 0.4725 L cubed over 12 L uh, minus 5 L uh, 0 0.4725 L uh, divided by 12 Uh, and then close bracket here so you have this and this so if you solved all this out um, eventually you'd get your delta max um, and your delta max or your y uh, should be about negative 0 0.094 ml squared over ei alright so that's an application we used of the two uh, def uh, double integration method formulas 
uh, the slope and our deflection to figure out where our maximum deflection uh, would occur on this diagram. Alright, hopefully that helped.